Hello again, this is Robert Veach here. This is my video review of the x Godi brand, their X1 projector with Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, native 1080 progressive frames, supports 8K or 4K video HDMI input, and uh, it'll allow those to pass through, and it has an Android operating system pre-installed, allows YouTube and Netflix streaming and other things also. X Jody provides a two-year warranty and a lifetime professional tech support on this product. So this is the nice package that came in to protect it. You see it's got a handle on here. This is really nice quality. Let's take a look what's inside here. So we have the instruction manual. We have the projector itself wrapped in plastic. And we have the remote, power cord, and some cables. Let's all take these out and put them on the table and look at everything. So everything's out of the package. You have the unit itself. There's a protective cover in there you got to remove. And you have the manual. You have an HDMI to HDMI cable. The remote, which does have a microphone built into it. And the power connection. So we're going to show a close-up of the projector so you saw, see all the features on there. The remote takes AAA batteries. You have to provide your own AAA batteries. Let's take a look at the front. There's the nice all-glass lens on here. On the side, there's the focus wheel. And you can see that it moves the lens in and out. And that's what provides the focus. It's that black neural portion right there. There is the power connection right there, the included power cable. And if you look at the top, it has functions on there that mimic what's on the remote, which is really nice so that you could gain access to all of that. And if we rotate to the back, there is a monophonic speaker here, um, high fidelity, then this is ventilation for the actual cooling of the LED. You notice there is a sensor right there and that's what communicates to the sensor on the remote. There's also a sensor in the front so that you can talk to the unit from the front, the sides, or the back. Now the side right here is ventilation right there for heat dissipation. Has two HDMI ports, one and two. Two USB ports, you could put memory sticks and so forth and uh, other streaming devices. Audio video input connection and a headphone output connection right there. On the bottom of the unit, you can see it has nice oversized silicone pads to keep it stable on a table. If you're going to be using a table and not using the adjusting screw, I would consider removing this temporarily and then it will lay totally flat because it will hit this, it relies on this contact point plus the two back ones. And this is nice so that you can actually adjust the angle of the projector as it's sitting on a table. You can rise it or drop it down, which is nice. There is also industry standard mounting holes. You can see right there, they've got the tapped openings in there so that you can put support. So putting this on a ceiling. And powering it is very simple. Just take the included cable and plug it in to the side. And then you could use the remote or right here. I just hit the power button right there. This is also a lit display, which is really nice. And what that does, it allows you to see this in total darkness so that you can see where the controls are. So the projector has come on. It is projecting right now. Let's go over some of the features. This has a built-in Android TV 9.0 operating system. The X Jody X1 projector adopts AmLogic T972 Smart TV chip and is equipped with 2 gigabyte RAM and 16 gigabyte ROM storage. You can stream movie shows, live sports, your favorite music, Netflix, YouTube, Spotify, and apps. 
You can enjoy video fun anytime without additional media players. So this is nice. It allows you to stream and not have to worry about having a streamer like Roku. So this is a built-in 5 watt hi-fi speaker as I show where it was. And uh, this should be a pretty bright projector. Typically you want to use a projector like this in a dark room with a 6 foot to 8 foot diagonal screen. I wouldn't recommend going beyond that. Uh, this has a contrast ratio of 15,000 to 1, which is really good. It has an HDR10 high dynamic range, so that means it's going to be able to show the dark colors and the light colors. That's where the dynamic range number comes in, that 15,000. It has 50% to 100% zoom, and that's built into the software. This wheel is the only mechanical thing for the actual focusing. It has 4D or plus or minus 45 degrees. Keystone Digital too, so that if you're projecting it, you don't have it perfectly lined up with the screen, it allow you to adjust the Keystone. This is a pure glass lens, which is really nice because a lot of the less expensive projectors don't have glass lenses, and that makes a big difference in the optical quality and the focus of the outer edges. This will support AirPlay, Mirrorcast function, provide lag-free online video streaming, and you can connect your Android phone to this or your Apple phone. And uh, it does have a two-way Bluetooth 5.0. So you can use other Bluetooth uh, sound systems to amplify the sound if you want to. And there's very efficient cooling fans in there. You notice it wasn't that noisy when I turned it on. And it's about 40 dB of fan noise. And of course it has that great carrying case I showed you. And this is also 5.8 gigahertz and 2.4 gigahertz dual band Wi-Fi and uh, Bluetooth 5.0 as I mentioned. So just checking, I'm getting about 50 decibels and about a foot away. So if I was about a meter away, it would be less than 40 decibels. So that's great, it shows that it's nice and quiet, so it won't affect you hearing the audio from your source material. So I had the projector running for about 20 minutes, and I want to just check the temperature. This is the output port right here. So see it's only 99 degrees, so that's good. It's cooling off this whole sealed chamber in there. This is all sealed, and it's keeping that LED bulb running cool. So here I'm in my movie theater, and I have the X1 powered on, on a little temporary table. I got an HDMI where I can test some 4K content, and I have a USB stick in there. It has some pictures and home movies and some cartoons. I have the projector on, have it going to my screen. And we're going to be doing some tests now. So the first thing I did, I went to Signal Source using the included remote. And you can see it recognized the Roku Ultra. We're going to try that first. And there's my home screen on my Roku. It looks really nice. The colors look really good. Very clear. So here's some 4K content that's copyright free. And the audio is coming out of the back of the projector. And it sounds really good, very loud. So the image is really good. I'm impressed, it's very clear. So I've turned the sound down so I can concentrate on the image. Contrast looks really good, it's clear on the edges. A lot of times these projectors aren't clear on the edge. I have the projector lined up and it's very clear. As you can see, it's hard to see with a camera recording, but uh, it's a very clear image with no lag. Now we're going to try the keystone, the upper right corner there. And it wants to know what projection method. And we're using front projection. And here you get the screen, and you could use the remotes up and down to change the keystone. 
I have the projector zero degrees, but if it was on an angle, we could adjust that easily. Here is electronic zoom we could try. So it allows you to use the remote to adjust the size up and down. Now there's a file browser and it allows me to look at my USB stick and there is a list of everything that is on that stick and I can play some home movies on here and here it's playing a movie that I produced that's on the actual USB stick And there's no lag and the image looks really good now I'm gonna log in to my Wi-Fi password so I put my password in and it says connected successfully now now I'm going to uh, connect to my Netflix by putting in my email and password so there it is everything is there for me to stream and uh, because of copyrights I can't show anything but uh, it worked and allowed me to stream all my Netflix and my YouTube videos so here I picked the YouTube tab on the menu and I can stream any YouTube video that I see or I can log into my account and, scre uh, and stream my videos for my channel and you can sign into your Google account so that you can gain access to your YouTube channel quite easily and now I'm streaming my channel the last video review I did so I've accessed all my well, videos by using this projector to stream them so after testing what do I think about the X Godi X1 well, I'm projecting in my theater, very clear image. This is 4K content, and it looks really clear even on the edges. And it looks bright enough for my six foot diagonal screen. So I'm gonna give this product a full five star rating. Please remember, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to alert to new video uploads. And if you thought this review was helpful, please hit the like button. There'll be ordering links in the information and comments section of this video review. Please use those links when you order this product to help support this channel. I hope this video review helped you with your buying decision. Thank you for watching.